here we go day five of the lip and cheek advent calendar for this year so right here is day five i am going to pop it open and see what we have hopefully you guys are enjoying all of these looks so far so today's color is venice i absolutely love this color it is so bright and so vibrant so i'm gonna grab my full size one just so that you guys can see it a little bit better as soon as i saw this color i was like oh my gosh we have nothing like it it's this one right here and if you see the second side there's really nothing that vibrant so I'm going to dig in with my blush and bronzer brush here. This is in that Ace of Shades collection, um, in addition to the advent calendar, which are still available. I don't know how much longer they'll be available. They'll probably sell out soon, so grab one if you can. All right, so you can build it up, obviously, if you want. Otherwise. You can leave it like that. It is such a pretty orangey pink color. I love it. So for blush, you want to make sure it goes above that contour line, almost touching it, and then go in the apples of your cheeks. If you have trouble finding the apples of your cheeks, just smile, and it's the rounded part right here. All right, I'm just going to blend this right here and then show you the lips. So I'm going to grab my multitasker brush and show you guys what it looks like on my lips. Again, I do have my lips lined with indigo contour. just because I like to look, make them look a little bit more plump than they are. So this is a gloss and that way you can have that shiny effect, but also still see your natural lip underneath. So it's not like a satin that's completely covering. All right, and if you want to make it a little bit more vibrant, you definitely can, but I'm going to leave it like this just because it's really pretty like this. So that is day five, Venice. Stay tuned for the rest of the advent calendar colors. Um, and then I am redoing that eyeshadow advent calendar from last year, so definitely check those out as well.